get it. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. AP on the show. Hey, 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 HK. How you doing? Thanks for hanging out, H Knox. Welcome to the AP on the show. Show, show, show. And everybody hanging out over here and there and everywhere. As you're pulling back your hair, hopefully you're getting up, getting the morning started if you're there. Happy Wednesday to you. Had to make wait a second for it to come through. Forgot what the day was, cause everything's falling in a continuum right now. So we got the buzz, the buzz, or the vibe, rust, whatever you wanna call it, put up a fuss. But uh we're doing this just together. Weather in the storm, staying clever, word is born and it's on to the break of dawn. Quick like uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up family? Look at my brother. Shout out to Terra Cafe, B. Moore, Terrence Dixon. I'm over here on Facebook. I see Baltimore. B. Moore by Shopping Local Small Business. Saturday. Hey, 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 hey. What the people say? Hey, hey. What the people say? Hey, hey, hey. What the people say? Hey, hey. What the people say? Welcome to the A, the A, the A. Welcome to the AP Morning Show. Everybody is hanging out over here on Facebook. What up, yo? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day to you. On this special edition of the AP Morning Show. I love getting over the hump when it comes to this accountability partners thing. I love working over the hump together. No matter the weather, we over the hump together. Weather in the storm, veterans be better than your old dose of medicine. Never been, has there ever been someone clever than these master men? Uh, ever been. These master men with more sights and sabotage than weathermen, keeping you up, they on the formula. So, okay, so what I'm kicking right now is something I wrote that I, when I was, mm, it was my first EP. My first EP. I think my greatest line, this was at 15, I think my greatest line. Uh, veterans, we better than your old dose of medicine. Never then has there ever been someone clever than these master men with more sights and sabotage than weathermen. Keeping you up, they don't the formula. Soaring the something, something, something. Mm, tones of average orchestras. Speaking on the verbal assassins' behalf, we breaking minds divine, trying to catch the aftermath. Remember that we don't speak or spark and beef, knocking teeth, slicing them seeds, dicing one and bees, shooting gas of us and cats. Relax while we shut your traps. We're lyrics that confuse your raps, dazzle Democrats. <laughs> wrote that when I was 15. <laughs> Verbal Assassins was the name of the group. That's where all this whole music thing, this whole life thing, this whole being myself every day of my damn life thing started back when I was 14 years old. I think I was 13 when I had this first experience. I was on my father's porch. I'm hanging at my father's house with my brothers. And my brothers take off to go play, and usually I would too. We're running through the neighborhood, having fun with other kids and everything. But this day, I decided that I wanted to stay. I had the tape recorder. I had my dad's, my dad's tape recorder. You know, me and my brothers would share it. So this was my time where I had it. And so I go out on the porch, and I'm listening to Wu Tang Clan. It's one of my favorite groups at the time. One of the most popular groups for everybody at that time. Wu Tang Clan. So I'm listening to a Raekwon uh, EP, and I decide it was Glaciers of Ice. It was the, the EP. We had the A side and the B side. This is cassette, cassette tapes, y'all. <laughs> Remember those? So I'm listening to Raekwon, Glaciers of Ice. On the other side is Criminology. I decide to write down the Glaciers of Ice lyrics. I decide to write down the lyrics. And when I hit the lyrics from the top, I found myself in a whole new way. It took me way back in the day when, when my mama would say, good job. As I gave her the poems inside the cards, the holiday cards, like Valentine's Day and Charm, Christmas, Easter, when we had feasts like Thanksgiving. Yeah, my mom noticed my poetry. She was the first one to help me to see the light inside of me when it came to artistry and creativity. Yes, my mama. (laughs) Talk about my mom every day on this show. So I find myself at 13 on the porch with a Walkman. 
I decided to write out the lyrics to Glaciers of Ice and that would change my life. Because when I would recite the lyrics back, I would realize like, man, this rap thing is really fun and interesting. And it's like the poetry I've been doing, but with even more rhyme and rhythm. And I was familiar with it because it was all I listened to. It was my style of music that I dug, you know. Wu-Tang Clan changed my life with that. I went from there reciting that rap to then writing my own rap. And that would be that. (laughs) And after coming off a punishment at the end of eighth grade for taking a counterfeit $20 bill of school. It wasn't my fault, y'all, I promise. I'm going to tell y'all the story in a few minutes. But yeah, (laughs) after coming back from that and uh which ended in a uh plastic baseball bat to my ass <laughs> i'm gonna tell y'all more i'm telling you don't go far what i would find out was who i was creatively because i would connect with my brother t my brother t clock who i'm gonna see if terrence rashawn clock happens to be around y'all might know him you might have heard of him you might have heard a few notes come from his vocal cords one of my best friends from childhood we started out music together a three-person rap group <laughs> i was getting off punishment he was getting off punishment for i think bad grades or something like that we connected at the end of our eighth grade year and the rest is freaking history we formed a rap group verbal assassins added one more member to the band his name was real randall will randall <laughs> funny stories i gotta get my friends on the show i'm thinking about so many funny stories to tell y'all that came from this time but we would get together and i would find myself in the midst of creativity utility positivity imagination and a productive thing that even my parents would be supporting as we got together after school to make our music our hip-hop music so i found myself as a rapper at 14 and then at 16, when that same one Terrence Clark would then get a girlfriend, get a car, and get the hell away from the rest of his group, <laughs> I would find myself as a producer at that point in my life. Just by sake of saying, I can't let the group go down. We've done so much amazing work so far. We have the support of the school, our public school, my social studies teacher. She let us come into class and bring our tapes we had we had a uh, we had a box of uh, tapes the little tape case that you carry if it's like maybe maybe 20 cassettes in it right carried that to school with our single now EP actually we had an EP our first EP we're 15 years old verbal assassins We take that to school. My social studies teacher, because she knows where we're coming from mentally, and because she's even heard us, because one of our projects, we rapped for our project, and and it was, we got an A++, like it was crazy. She let us sell those tapes. She let us go platinum in first period, as I like to say, (laughs) in ninth grade. Oh my gosh. It was an amazing time. So yeah. I'll find myself there. We find ourselves being supported by the school. There was an assembly that happened that like shut down with me rapping, like, and all the teachers and the principal and everybody was like, oh, that was amazing. Like, I had some good times, y'all. I had some really, really good times. And so that's how I would find myself as a lyricist. And, 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 and you're hearing this, veterans, we better than you. We better than your veterans, we better than your old dose of medicine Never then has there ever been Someone clever than these master men with more sights and sabotage and weathermen Yeah, 15 I appreciate myself more and more as time goes on I appreciate my mom more and more as time goes on And I appreciate your ass more and more As you join me for more greatness From the AP Morning Show As we're working through this week together What up? Peeps, Tony, H, Geneva, T, Eunice, hey family, and everybody hanging out with me on Facebook, the book of face. Hey, if y'all get a chance, look at my most recent video, like look at my most recent video everywhere, TikTok, Instagram, (laughs) 
Facebook. I'm laughing because I'm looking at the video as I'm talking to you. <laughs> and the first thing you see in the video is me with this blue mask under my chin. And you see me looking around, you see me talking. Then I rip the mask off, it breaks, the, the, the daggone handle comes off the back. <laughs> and that's that. Check that out. I promise you're going to get a good laugh. And it's about this AP Morning Show giving you what unfolds in this experience every single day with good people like you and guess what i got somebody real good coming through because i got my good friend geneva renee with me in the building who is geneva renee well i'm so glad that you silently asked geneva renee was only the first vocalist for my group fruition what yeah you didn't know that you had no idea ain't nobody tell me nothing in the words of Martin Lawrence. Exactly. But now you know. Hey, so if you don't know, now you know. Hey, I thought you was going to stop saying the N word. I mean, you know, you were supposed to stop. I didn't say it, so you wasn't supposed to say it in your mind. Hey, family. Yes, you get a chance to hear from the best people that I know every day on this show. So today is no different. So at 9 30, 13 minutes from now, we're going to chop it up with Geneva, Renee. And guess what? I made an instrumental for her newest project, her newest EP. What? Yes. And it's how we met. God Bless the Child was the name of the track that I did where Geneva would find it on those internet streets. And she would contact me. We would form a connection and a friendship that, like ones that you can only... You know, you only got a handful of them where you can say that they still last until this day. Yes. So at 930, we're going to wrap with her. But in the meantime, between time, I want to say what's up to you. Hey, what's up? Come through. I started this experience only due to do one thing back in December of 2020. December 3rd to be exact. It was just to come and stand in accountability with as many people as I could, especially people that was namesake like me. What up, Aaron? <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing? And so my only goal was to stand in accountability with as many people as I possibly could to say hi, to use this app as an alarm to get me back on track, to go from that 2020 palm tree flow to 2021 where i need to get my ass back together yo <laughs> get back on my schedule y'all know how it is so i was like 7 30 every morning i'm gonna get my ass up and i'm gonna say good morning to as many people as possible stand in accountability check in with old friends meet some new ones give some counseling give some coaching give some support some advice have a few laughs and this is where we would find ourselves. Play some music. <laughs> Play some piano. <laughs> like, what? And so that's where we find ourselves today. So if you would like to, for the next 10 minutes, I'm trying to chop it up with you before we holler at Geneva Renee. So by all means, throw up a wave, come to the stage. I would love to say hey to your beautiful face and check in, see how you're doing. And if not, because you're just letting this be the background, soothing, soulful experience for your morning. Hey, you could do that too. You could do that too. You could do that too. But most of all, thanks for coming through. Yeah. See my brother Tony. Hey, what's up, Marcy? Guess what? I got a chance to speak to Marcy. I got a chance to speak to Marcy. I don't even know. Y'all that don't know Marcy, you don't know, you don't know. But you're jealous in future sense once you get to know, I promise you. <laughs> That's one of the fun things. I get a chance to talk to people who I built relationships with in this app. Like we go way back and it's only been a freaking year. I can't wait to celebrate the anniversary. December 3rd, I want y'all to meet me here on Clubhouse for an hour just to celebrate all of the relationships that have been created. All of the people that have gone on to create business journeys together. All the people that have gone on to stand in accountability with each other, to check in with each other, to have a new friend, a new family member, somebody to talk to. What? People that have gone on to start their own rooms and their own experiences just based off of coming through this experience and being hit with something inspirational that would take them from there to the freaking moon. Let's get it, y'all. 
Let me holler at my brother Tony. See what I'm up to. Tony, what's happening, brother? Just invited you to speak, fam. Hey, 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 hey. What up, Tony? How's it going? Hey, I'm well, man. I'm well. How you doing, bro? Oh, you sound a, you sound a little far away, Tony. You mind picking up your phone, putting it up to your ear? Yeah, is this is this better? It's a little better. You still sound a little far away. Yeah, I'm, I am. I am oh, you got an you got an earbuds? You got an yeah. yeah. If you can, can you take those out and talk right into the phone? I probably hear you much clearer. Hey, 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 hey. That sounds. I think that sounds a little. Well, you sound a little muffled now, but yeah, if you're talking straight into your uh, your phone microphone, that'd be that'd be real clear. Hey. No, I just Oh, Tony, I'm sorry, bro. I can't hear you at all, man. <laughs> you sound like you in the aquarium right now. <laughs> like <laughs> now, you said you said you got your phone directly up to your ear, like you're holding it against your face. Hey, hey, hey. Tony, you got your phone right up to your face? Oh, okay. I see. You just put them back down the audience. It is all good. <laughs> yeah, Tony. And that's for anyone else, too. If you hold it right up to your face, it'll be the best. Unless you got some, unless you got a studio or some damn good hip on. <laughs> hey, hey. It's all good, Tony. Come back through, bro, when you, when you get it together. It's all good. Good morning to you, fam. Yes, yes. All right, I'm going to check on over on Facebook. Again, if you're on Clubhouse and you like to check in, by all means, I would love to hear. How's your week going so far? How's your day been? And I also am going to share with you a pondering or two. Hmm. Some things that I've been thinking about. Want to see what it sparks for you as far as thought, as far as interest. So by all means, if you'd like to come to the stage, I'd love to say, hey. And what's up, Dane, over here on Facebook? If you're not hanging with me on Facebook, why the hell not? Oh, you might not know that you could do that. All right, so here's what you do. Right now, as we speak, go on over, even while you're in Clubhouse, just go on and click on your Facebook app. Got it? Okay, boom. Here's the next thing. Now, up in the search menu, type in Aaron Hill TV. And that's two A's. A-A-R-O-N Hill TV. Got it? Okay, cool. Now, next thing. Hit enter. <laughs> You're going to see two profiles. You see a red and black one. And you see a white and black one. One with me like this. Or me pulling my hair. <laughs> so click on the red and black one. That's my public profile. And hey, see me making silly faces. <laughs> Plus, you get a chance to see my studio and my favorite picture, the picture that's been with me from the very beginning of my first studio. For those that don't know, I just moved recently. I'm in a new place, new edifice, new surroundings, new energy. <sighs> I'm feeling good, y'all. In the hood. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah, come on over. What's up, David T? You come over, you're part of the Double Dip crew. That's people that's hanging out with me on clubhouse and facebook and if you're on facebook mute the audio listen to the audio through clubhouse because it's the best speaking of which i'm about to take it up a grade going from audio quality normal to high boom i should be better even in your ears now what up bro mario varnado what's happening family thanks for hanging out fam yes yes Hey, 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 hey. All right, so here's a pondering. And then we're going to hang out with Geneva Renee. Here's some music. Y'all get a chance to hear somebody perform today on the AP Morning Show to my backing track. Come on, yo. All right, check this out. 92220. That's when I wrote this. Acceptance is the way to peace. Don't overanalyze or overthink the situation. It is what it is check this out 
Yes. What you went through emotionally, it was painful. But it doesn't have to equal long term suffering. Dwelling and rumination many times is the cause of long term suffering. But acceptance is the way to peace. So don't overanalyze or overthink the situation. It is what it is. It happened. And yes, it was painful. But it doesn't have to equal long term suffering. You, my friend, have a choice to be well. You decide whether something is just painful or whether it's continual suffering. And so contrary to popular belief, I also believe you define your purpose. And it changes from moment to moment as you pay attention to what skills or what strengths or what passions you have, what makes you happy, fulfilled, and gives you a sense of worth. So whatever you decide your contribution to life or this world will be, be it what it will, ultimately, that will be what your purpose is. Because even if you feel like it's handed to you and it's predetermined, you still are the one that's actually taking the paintbrush and deciding to actually paint a picture because you could choose not to. Hey, hey. When I was in the 10th grade, guess what I was going to be? A mechanical engineer. Yes, my dear. I was going to go into Morgan State University and become a mechanical engineer because of my infatuation with taking things apart and reverse engineering and putting it together. Shout out to mom again for being clever and letting me know at eight years old when I took apart my G.I. Joe tank and put it back together that I had a mind for taking things apart and reconstructing, reverse engineering. But since I was into this rap thing and things were going pretty well and I was having a lot of fun after school and it was very productive and my mother was also supporting me in that. In fact, she gave me $1,000 towards my first piece of equipment to have my back. I was like, you know, hmm, I could do that too. I could do that too. And so I decided to go to school for audio engineering. But soon you'll actually hear a mechanical engineer because I'm going to interview one on this show and we're going to chop it up about mechanical engineering. (laughs) So the thing is, I today could immediately hit pause on this show and stop everything and go do something else. And that would be what I'd be. But I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing to be right here with you and doing this, this way, my way. Hey, hey, I tell everybody I'm in school for psychotherapy and it's for one reason, to be a professional empath. I could be a licensed practitioner if I wanted to right now. But I decided to do it in order to help my friends, my family, and my community. So let's get it. And I'm already an empath because I'm mom. So now what? Hey, it's the AP Morning Show. Happy hump day, y'all. Let's get into this. I'm ready to hang out with my folk. I see Maria. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. The serendipity plus intention. I get to look down at my phone and all of a sudden see people like Maria and Andrea and Marcy, and Geneva and T H Tony. Hey fam, come through. Y'all about to hear some goodness because I'm about to say what's up to Geneva Renee only my friend and the first vocalist for the birthing and the birthing and the birthing of the seed in my life called fruition. Geneva, hey. Hey. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I am wonderful. I am fine as one. I am great. It's another day. (laughs) Yes, yes. It's a brand new day. (laughs) It's a whole brand new day. A whole opportunity. 
to take That's advantage. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly it. Mm-hmm. You might have messed up yesterday, but you got a brand new day to try again. Get it right. Hey, hey, get it right. <laughs> get it tight. Hey, <laughs> oh my gosh. How's your week been so far? Oh, it's been awesome right? because I've been celebrating, you know, the release of my new CD. Yeah. And packing up all the orders and shipping them out. <sighs> Hand, you know, mm-hmm. handwriting my little thank you notes. It's been what? great. What? Let me tell you something. Oh, you know, I'm personalizing it. Let me tell you something. I looked at your organic. right. I looked at your profile the other day, and I happened to see your picture with the envelopes, and you had them like nicely fanned out. Like, <laughs> yo, let me tell you something. With everything in me, my heart leaped. I was happy as hell, and here's the reason why. That's that's my life. Like. <laughs> the fun that I've had over the years, the, the the stacks of envelopes, the sitting there, even with the work and willingly just like, oh, my gosh, because each one is handcrafted. Each one, you know that you're delivering your baby, you're delivering your light, you're delivering your love. Right. It has a exactly. specialness to it. I was yeah. like, oh, my God, you talking about nostalgia. I said, you go, girl. You go, That's girl. Right. You just go. You go. <laughs> What? That's the goal. That is exactly what I was like. Let me do these CDs. I know right. a lot of people don't even have CD players anymore, but there are some folks there that still love that nostalgic feel of yep. holding the music. And the ones that don't have it, you're giving them a reason to go get one. Do you know I'm about to do the same thing with vinyl? Like that's where oh, I'm going yeah. next. I'm going vinyl. I'm I'm I am coming out with vinyl so that everybody can go get a freaking record. Play. Do you know how good a record player feels now in a time where we need something that's touchy feely and organic and something that the family can be around and it's a process? Yo, come yeah. on. Yeah. Come yep. on. Now. I actually just got myself a new record player. Mm. And so now I need to find a record store so I could just grab those old classics right. you know right and just have it my, start my little collection yeah it feels good just to have that it, it just feels authentic you know it really is authentic let me tell you you know one of the family members from this ap family heather strop heather strop with the red cup y'all see her one day heather used to hang out here every single day every single day with me for hours us and the family there's a whole cast of people and at one point, Heather, uh, I asked her, like, what was going on for a weekend? She was like, well, you know, I think I'm just going to listen to some records. I was like, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop everything. What? <laughs> what did you just say to me? Let me tell you something. The next thing that happened was that we started talking about records. And before you know it, she had a Sunday experience on here that we were all having a freaking party in the midday like just jamming to her and her record player it was oh that's so fun (laughs) it was so crazy so crazy and it would go on to be her thing here on clubhouse like what so yeah like i'm i'm way back there i'm getting back to that organic so you know with the cds it's the same thing let me tell you something so you know about what happened to me as far as my car right no i don't so for everybody that doesn't know this for the people way in the back on may 14th my car was stolen my whole ass entire car and everything in it. Oh God! That meant all my street serenade stuff and everything. All your equipment. All my it. equipment. You know the whole freaking nine. But as mom would teach me from the very day one, you know, up, didn't have to let it bring me down. I immediately saw that as an opportunity to turn it around. And so what happened was, as you know, you see me every day, documenting the hell out of my life. So immediately I'm like, yep, I'm going to share this. I'm going to share it with the people. It turned into a video that was on my timeline, of course, and then wind up on the timeline of somebody who came across my street serenades and it wind up, their friend wind up seeing it and was like, oh my gosh, I have a car that I'm about to sell, but I want to give it to this dude. I want to give it to this guy because I see what this guy is doing out here in the world. Yeah. And I got a free ass car. 
Wow. <laughs> I got a free car, Geneva. And not only did I get a free car. That's love. You know what I mean? And not only did I get a free car, but then in those three days from that same display of me just being vulnerable, being transparent, putting it out there, going to my people who I've been pouring into and saying, what's up, family? What do you do? This is where we are. $9,000 in three days through Whoa. GoFundMe, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. Wow. I'm just saying. Like, hmm. redirecting the energy. Hey, look, I call it the home run theory. Everybody looks at the baseball player and you look at the batter. You look at the Sammy Sosa who hits the home run. You look at the Kyle Ripken. You look at the Babe Ruth. And they get all the credit. And for sure, it makes sense. But they're actually only half the equation. They're only 50% responsible for that home run. The other 50% is the pitcher. What the batter is doing is just redirecting the energy that's already there. The momentum is there. So all you got to do, no matter what happens to you, whether it looks good or not, is just realize you have the ability to turn that momentum in a different direction and make it hit a home run. It be what you make it. So that's the way I look at it. And that's the way I looked at it. I was like... This is an opportunity to go to the next level, actually, not one to be down. But you have to know that transparency is the thing that allows it to go forward. What everybody else is motivated by is by you putting one foot in front of the other, just like they are. That's the whole motivation. Right. I love that analogy. That baseball analogy is awesome. Thank you so much. So, yeah, that's what happened. And uh, but, yeah, everything turned around. And I'm back better than ever. Congratulations. <laughs> You're back and better. Because, you know, I'm stuck on that baseball. Mm, the pitcher throws it one way with, with one intention. Yes. You know? And yes. then the, the batter hits it completely out the park. Out the park. That was, you know, the opposite the intention. Complete opposite intention. Complete opposite intention. No weapon formed against you. Something Watch thrown out. against you. you can, like, let me tell you something. This knock is not get out the park. And here's mm-hmm. the thing. This is the thing I love about it. When you look at Sammy Sosa, when you look at, okay, there's a huge difference. If I'm correct, and those that are that are ba- Babe Ruth fans, like you'll be able to n- tell this instantaneously whether I'm correct or not. And please correct me if I'm not. Let's have a fun conversation. There's a big difference in body type between Sammy Sosa and Babe Ruth. Sammy Sosa is the one muscle, muscle, muscle. Bay Ruth ain't all of that big and muscular. The thing is, when it comes to redirecting energy, you don't have to be the biggest or baddest or strongest. You don't have to. It's literally here. It's psychological. It's just knowing yes, that you can redirect it. Yeah, and believing it. Mm-hmm. Believing it, knowing it, and then just positioning yourself. The momentum yeah. is already there. It's already mm-hmm. there. You're just placing mm-hmm. the bat. And your body and everything else in the right place to redirect it. So yeah, I redirected it, and that's that's that's, that's it awesome. right there. <laughs> so I tell yeah. you about the car because I wanted to tell you about my CD player in the car. I've been listening to <laughs> CDs for the last several months, and at first I was like, "Oh man, is this gonna work?" Now when I got the car, they gave me uh, I got, I literally have a radio in the car, like one that I could put in as Bluetooth cable and everything. And I haven't put it in because I've allowed myself to sink back into the CD experience on purpose. At first, I was kind of like, oh, I'm not going to get a chance to get through my my stuff, my, my flow. But then I thought about something. One thing I like about listening to CDs is that you don't have to worry about commercials or interruptions. Oh, streamers. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Those commercials get on my nerves. My goddamn nerves. <laughs> <And> <laughs> secondly, well, you can subscribe. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the the second piece about it is, to me, the one thing I like about it is when you cut when you're in a car, wherever you leave off is where it exactly picks up. So what it did for me was now I can go back to sinking into an ambiance sinking into a mindset sinking into a vibe and not having to worry about even something as simple as going to click it again and again like it just stays there like i have enjoyed putting on some of my favorite jazz cds or either like ones that i've been wanting to get into and just because the cd player is unlike the computer or unlike the phone as far as how it plays 
I get a chance to stay in a vibe. I was like, oh, I missed this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and then the spontaneity of not knowing what it's going to pick up. So anyway, that's a whole vibe. So CDs, hey, look, <laughs> CDs are a vibe. Everything has its own vibe. And that's why I appreciate that you knew that enough to print some damn CDs of your new EP. <laughs> well, you know, yes, I'm excited. And, you know, another beautiful thing about the CDs are the liner notes. Liner you don't notes. Get that. You don't get that uh, with a digital download unless I know, right? they provide it. But um, I personally decided to keep the liner notes on paper. Right. Uh, in the CD. So those people who actually buy the physical cd will get a special bonus with the liner notes and Mm -hmm. it's not just the lyrics it's a little little bit more there's personal reflections right uh that i feel like it's almost like a publication of my own personal journal Mm -hmm. or diary Mm -hmm. yes um, sort of giving a message behind the music so It's just a little bit different. And you get the cool pictures and everything. So Yeah, it's organic, right? Yeah. You know, it's the difference for me between reading a Kindle book and holding a book in my hand. (laughs) Like, (laughs) (sighs) now, an audio book. highlight and circle. I know, right? Yo, come (laughs) on, yo. You can highlight. You can circle. You can draw smiley faces. You can. Mm -hmm. (sighs) It's so organic of an experience. So I definitely feel you. And, And that's the one thing I have to say as an artist, like, I appreciate the convenience of digital, but I, I miss liner notes. I miss holding them. I miss like reading the thank yous up close and personal. You know, I miss picking it up and going back to it. I miss like little stuff. Like I used to take my some CD, um, you know, covers and put them in little frames. And, you know, they like it's a special yep. thing, you know. Yeah. So congratulations on your thank new CD. You. What? Yes, thank you. What? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to thank you now. Like yes. I've been thanking you for the past 10 years. <laughs> you know, we did that song. Oh, I did that song 10 years ago. What song are we talking about? God what what, what you child. talking about? The, I, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had to dig through because you're like, oh, yeah, pull up the backing track and get right. ready to sing it. And I'm like digging through the, my, my archives on my hard drive. Right. And it said, last time that I opened this recording session was 2011. Mm. So I'm wow. going to go ahead and just claim it as t- 10 years ago. 10 years, yo. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's we... why it was probably before that, but yeah. And we You've been, been on this grind for a minute. I just got started. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we but have yeah, been friends for, for 10 that. years. Come on. This is special, y'all. So For those of you all that don't know, first of all, again, you know, good morning to you. Good morning. Geneva Renee, a friend of mine, an artist, confidant, friend, like first vocalist for my group, my baby, Fruition. I was birthing a new chapter in my life, a new seed. Might even give you all a little snippet of that today. Geneva Renee, special place in my life. We got a chance to record a project together. Geneva found out about me because it is I do performance tracks. I'm I in 2007 I took my hip hop skills and I took where I was in the gospel industry and I decided to put them together to build pretty much what I, I might as well say is the world's number one place for performance tracks because people go here for the soul for the soulfulness of the tracks that I do. Um, yeah, it's definitely in the top three. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And so Geneva, like many people, um, I put out the offering because I knew that there was people that could use my gift. I valued what I had. I didn't underappreciate it. And so this is what happened. It attracted people who needed what I had to offer and who were like minded people. And so Geneva hits me up one day and she has the track and she's like, I want to record it. Like, I love this track. Like, (laughs) and we became friends from there. You know, we We've we've played gigs together. We like collaborate. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. So that's so cool. And so today she's going to actually share that tune at some point. Um, but before we do, I want to talk a bit more about the CD because y'all, she's got a new project out that I need you to support. In fact, one of the things I'm going to do while we're sitting here and talking is I'm going to grab the link 
and the link is going to be right in here above our head where you'll be able to go right to her CD and purchase. In fact, Geneva, give me that address real quick and I'm going to go ahead and throw that oh, up there. Simple enough. www.genevarenee.com Geneva Renee Dort com. <laughs> yeah. I'm and you about. just, you'll see the, my face and you can scroll down and you'll see uh, the product. You can go to the music store if you want and download other music from my previous projects. Yes, or, yes. You know, buy the CDs from there too. Um, and I also have a 20% discount mm. app going on for Black Friday up until this coming Friday. Yeah. Um, so just type in Black Friday 2021 on your checkout. That's a secret announcement. I'm not advertising that on uh, anything. So you just have to remember. Yeah, yeah. Black Friday 2021 is the secret discount code. Yes, I mean, I'm yes. advertising it, but it's not on my website. See what I'm right. saying? Like, That's what makes it so special. Or if you got my e email list, or right. if you're listening to the AP Morning Show, yeah. now, you got, now you got the little hookup. Hey, if you didn't know, now you know. Now you know. Hey, you're supposed to stop saying the N word. You, you told me a long time ago you were. <laughs> <I'm just, laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all definitely check out Geneva Renee. Check out her music. When I tell you angelic voice, angelic personality, I think my favorite thing about how you relate to people, Geneva, is how you call us all beautiful wonders. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, that so was the title track of my last uh, CD, and the song is about um, you know the person that encourages you, and right. you want to turn around and encourage them. Right. Um, so I know everyone has a beautiful wonder in their life. They have somebody that they find is inspirational in their life. Um, right. So all of y'all inspire me yeah. to keep moving and keep putting out music and sharing and being an artist because hopefully you'll hear it and be inspired and it's almost like a cycle like it you is. inspire me to inspire you to inspire right me to inspire you. you know yeah. what it, it reminds me of um you know how you look into a mirror and if if two mirrors are facing each other one in front of you one behind you you see that eternal reflection reflection eternal yeah that's really neat that's so cool how that works that's yeah. what it is that's how i see it that's really what it is you know, this is great. Geneva, tell us. <laughs> uh, I'm excited about this. Y'all about to hear her sang in a few. Um, we about to have some fun. Um, but as we do, tell us a bit about this CD. Tell us, you know, um, the name of it. Tell us, you know, what, how many tracks, you know, what to expect. What, what you know, what, okay. what's the inspiration? Where is, what is this? This is beautiful. Yes. All right. So the title of my latest CD is E is Brand New Day. It's yeah. an EP um, with six songs. So less than 30 minutes. So I'm just going to put that out there. A lot of people <laughs> might get surprised thinking that they're going to get a full uh you know something something but well, you are gonna get a full experience you're gonna get a full experience that's actually <laughs> i was just talking to, uh, to a friend who's like oh i have a cd player and everything i definitely recommend listening to the music with headphones headphones on. yeah i love yes. it i love it um, because the production quality i think is just mm. outstanding and you'll hear i think so many inflections um different instruments that right. i i don't know yeah I, saying, I <laughs> of course i'm proud of my baby so yeah yeah I'm gonna talk you about should, it. right so yeah six songs and it's a uh, i call it a personal musical memoir mm. journey, almost a journey of a woman's life mm -hmm. from trauma to personal reflection, right. introspection, mm. um, to prayer, mm. to finally waking up and realizing that I have God on my side yeah. and I love myself yeah. and God is love. Yeah. So you gotta keep moving and you celebrate that we can't sur survive mm. so 
the titles of the songs hopefully that'll help a little bit right last last night is uh the first song and it's about the traumatic experience of oh my gosh what happened last night oh my goodness mm. and then in my dreams is the introspection like trying yeah. to figure out you know why did i how did i get here in the first place yeah yeah paradise is the prayer yeah um, you're praying looking for love looking for that exotic place that you can escape to mm. but you realize paradise is actually this in within you it's oh, within what exactly oh. what check oh my it out God. i love this <laughs> I love it. Brand new day is the fourth track. That's when you wake up and you realize, whoo, thank God I could try this again. Like mm. you have this morning show every morning. Thank you, Lord. I got another chance. Yeah, yeah. Um, keep gro- keep growing. Yeah, yeah. God, number five is God bless the child. Uh, that that one I added just to celebrate the independence, celebrating mm. that now I know, now I understand how right. to navigate through this world. Right. Um, and final track is strong confident woman it's a sort of a conversation with to from me to other women saying look we don't need external validation when you love right. yourself Ooh. when you can love yourself Get you it. just got to know that you got god on your side and you will survive mm. so you might Beautiful. fall again Beautiful. but you you got to keep on keeping on because it. it's All not right. about how you it's not about how many times you fall it's about how many times you get up again yes 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 mm-hmm. so it's, that's it that's um it just released on november 22nd 11 22 i just like playing with nice. the nice let's get it 11 <laughs> crew 11 yeah let's get it 11 crew i know all about i know all about them 11 i'm trying to tell you oh yeah. man this is this is so exciting um, um, I'm excited too, and uh, you know, the whew. CD is available again. It, you get a full eight-page booklet with mm. uh, you know all the reflections and the photos and yeah. you know that authentic organic uh, product that you can hold in your hand. Yes, um, but you can also do the digital download, and those who purchase from my website, um, you'll get both. You'll yeah. get the, the CD mailed directly to you through USPS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you'll also get a free download link um, sent to your email right. once you make that purchase. So, no, you know, it's kind of hard. I don't even know if people have CD players in their computers to, you know, <laughs> upload the CD, right. the music, you know, and put it into their playlist. So, yeah, I, I try to make it easy for you. Get both when you uh, purchase the CD. Boom, and there you have it. Y'all click that link that's right above our head and yours. Click that link, GenevaRenee.com, GenevaRenee.com. And Check. don't forget the Black Ooh. Friday. I'm sorry. Go you, ahead. No, nah, you got it. Go ahead. That's <laughs> the first. Like, don't that's, forget your discount. That's it. It's all the about Black them Friday discounts. Black Friday 2021. All right. Yes, I'm trying to hook you up. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you save a few dollars. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yeah, this is special because what was that? You said it was six tracks all together, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So track number five, God Bless the Child. Again, this is a moment of nostalgia because this is how we met. You know, yeah. I had a vision within me that there were people out there that needed soulful backing tracks, soulful music behind them, soulful instrumentals. And so I put that out there and hundreds of thousands of views and purchases later will come along Geneva Renee that will find her way to that track. And now that track has found its way to our newest project. Number five on her CD is a song that I produced. And so right now I'm going to have her to share that tune. Man, oh man, this is cool. All right. So Geneva, (laughs) Geneva's going to go ahead and lay it on as god bless the child and we're gonna enjoy this all right i hope it sounds all right i'm i, I hate apologizing before well, just but, don't uh, do it then don't do it then don't I'm do it do what I, i'm gonna I'm <laughs> make it do what it do <laughs> yes yes much love <laughs> The 
them that's God shall get, them that's not shall lose. So the Bible said, and it still is news. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child. That's God is all. That's God is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes, the strong get more while the weak ones fail. Empty pockets don't ever make the grave. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child that's got his own. This God is own. Oh my gosh. Why was this like the first time all over again? Like 
why did that touch me so deeply? Like the first know. time all <laughs> over again. Oh my god! Because it's been ten years. It's been so long. <laughs> Geneva, that was absolutely song. amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. It was amazing, wasn't it? Pete Johan, sir, you created that. Let me tell you something. That vibe made me, you know, gave me some vibes, and I was right. like, let me, let me vibe along. <laughs> well, you know how they say it takes two to tango. You know, and when I look at my art, right, when I look at the music, I remember my friends in my group, you know, my when yeah. I'm 16 years old and I just started becoming a producer. And I remember my friends asking me, they say, hey, when you, you know, as we keep going on this journey, will you give your music to people who have like messages that you don't quite agree with? And they were like, would you sell it for that? And it was the greatest question to ask me at 16. Because I thought about it and I came back and I was like, I can't do it. I was like, because for me, the music is only half of this picture. The other half is the artist that's on top of the music, the artist that's singing the words, that's displaying, that's bearing their soul on top of it, you know. And so, yeah, it it's I might have made the music, but you put the cherry on top. You made it shine. You put the sprinkles on top. And it would be nothing without your voice and what you just did and how you do what you do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That it was it I I don't know. I'm speechless myself to be quite mm. honest. Um, but yeah, I definitely was in a vibe when I was listening to this song and it's right. one of my favorites, um, in general, just because of the lyrics, you yes, know. Yes, for sure. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a, such a lesson. It really is. It's such a lesson. So I I, I'm it. glad that you had that intention, you know, kind of going back to what you were saying. Right. When you have certain intentions, um, you put it you put it out there and and then you never know who can pick it up and take that momentum and run with it. That's it. Uh, and, and, you know, maybe hopefully take it further than you had ever imagined. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, God has all kinds of things in store for us. So. You know, I tell you, it's so fascinating because, you know, you know how you just said, you know, you just you never know who it's going to touch. You never know who's going to, you know, who's going to reach. And it's so interesting, right? Because we say that and it's both true. And when you know what you know, it's exactly the opposite. It's like you never know. Right. And from and the way that I think about that is more so I do know. Now I'm just in the realm of possibilities with the serendipity and the intention and how it's going to come together and whose hands it's going to be or who's going to be touched by it. Like, I know that there will be people, you know, that there will be people that will be touched yeah. by your voice and by your music and by your offering. And then the fun is you get a chance to wait and see who, you know. And so I thank you for that. I thank you for that affirmation for me, because that's exactly what it was for me. I knew when I was making that track and the hundreds of others mm -hmm. that it was for someone. And and the reason why I'm harping on this is because I had a conversation yesterday or the last time we were on this morning show two days ago, and it was about this same thing. And I want to say this for every, every, everybody. Many times the difference between whether you'll be successful or not with something is the level of worth that you see in it. It is based on the value that you see in it. A lot of times we think that it's based on the odds and if we'll get the opportunity and if we'll get the job or someone to put it. And that's a part of the equation, too. But what I have found from my own life, I have been fortunate to be able to live it and live it several times over in my experience with different experiences where I would achieve success. It comes down to how much value you see in what you have. Mm. And what you're offering and desiring to bring forward. Yeah, that's so important because uh, I'll be honest, a lot of times I've felt personally that, oh, they're not going to like this. Maybe I right. shouldn't. Um, but and then who are they? Right. And sometimes you can actually point or envision people like specific people. Oh, you know, this group, this particular audience that I've performed for before. Right. Oh, they might not like this song because it's totally a different version or different genre. Yeah. Um, and you start as a creative. I know this happens a lot mm -hmm. for me. You start 
doubting yourself yes. and thinking, oh, they're not going to like it. They're going to laugh. They're going to be wondering, I thought you were a gospel artist. Why are you over mm, here singing jazz? Right. I thought, Or I thought you were a jazz artist. Why are you singing pop and R&B? Mm, and I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you got, and, it, and I start getting concerned about what other people think. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a, there's a delicate balance on balance. being concerned about what other people think yes. because you want other people to receive the music you want them to hear they want you want them to right. experience the art um and hopefully the intention or the intended purpose is met by mm-hmm. inspiring other people hopefully or whatever it is your intention is right uh, yes. but then there's gonna be there's always gonna be someone who might not receive mm-hmm. it the way you intended it always will be and Always the, be. what's the crux what's the what's the decision mm-hmm. do, you, do you hold on to it um for fear that someone might not like it or do you put it out there with the confidence mm-hmm. that at least one person might like it there you go let me tell and you something yeah there's an audience for everything and there's i also an think yes like that song if i can help somebody just Not one true. person let's get it along the way that my living will not be in vain i i have had to like remind myself that yes. and sing that song to myself that hymn yes. to myself. <laughs> like if i can just have one person yes. then my living will not be in vain i feel like that's you know why god put me on this earth sometimes i don't know if you notice know about me but that's literally my number one mantra my number one like quote favorite quote from another person outside of myself is mm. literally that i always say and for those that don't know, Mahalia Jackson, if I can help somebody, then my living won't be in vain. And I always add to that. And I say, since I already know my living isn't in vain, then I'll just spend my time helping people. That's right. Just, mm. for, you know, don't even worry about the doubt. Even though it's there, you can't give it too much energy. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right. Acknowledge it and then let it pass because holding on to it and harping it and fighting it will make it stick around that doubt so yep, yep. there's a there's a couple other ways that i like to put it too and this is what keeps me these are my personal mantras these are my personal mantras and now yours once you hear these family yes, I'm looking forward. I hear. <laughs> Please you might not be one person's cup of tea but you are someone else's full course meal and this is assured mm that's all right i'm hungry now let me get some breakfast (laughs) no i i I, I like that thank you another thing that another way that i think about it is to be a happy seed planter and not a stressed out gardener you know it's important for you to be able to plant the seeds and know that where you're planting the seeds they they will grow but you can't be a stressed out gardener though You have to be a happy seed planter. For those that follow the Bible, think about that parable. Think about that metaphor. Think about that scenario where you have the seeds and some of them fall on thorns. Some of them fall on flatlands. Some of them fall right in the perfect soil. You Mm. just have to be the one dropping the The seeds. So Mm. be a happy seed planter, but not a stressed out gardener. Right. Because you can you can be stressed out if you spend all your time on that dry, flat land or in those thorns. And I'm going to elevate that Ken to a will is inevitable. It's inevitable. Here's the last one. And then I want the family to meet you. I want the family to come on up in Clubhouse and meet Geneva. Say hi, like show some love. Last one for you to remember. Put this in your pocket, if nothing else. Mm-hmm. Not giving a fuck. Uh about other people's opinion is a real liberating feeling especially when you're mature enough to take positive constructive criticism balance is the name of the game can you say that again I showed I hell can (laughs) (laughs) not giving a fuck about anybody else's opinion is a real liberating feeling especially when you're mature enough to take positive, constructive criticism, it's balance. That's the name of the game. You can you actually do both. Your goal is to live both. That's how you walk that balance line. 
got to know the difference between somebody giving you criticism to tear you down or actually to build you up. And that's why it's important to be around people that will affirm you, even though at other times they will they will challenge you, but they'll challenge you in love. You want to have that healthy balance. So some people fall on the side of I don't give a fuck about what nobody else thinks. And yeah, but then that goes and extends to the place where they need to care. And it's the reason why they don't have healthy relationships and they blaming everybody else when they it's really them. Mm-hmm. And they're the one that's not the horse drinking the water. Pushing like everybody exactly, out. Mm-hmm. exactly. So there's that. And then there's the complete opposite side where we care too much and it cripples us from being us, mm-hmm. you know, so. That's what I think about. Hey, family, I want you. I, you know, I could go on and on. I tell you, because I just this is this is what it is for me, you know, and this thing called accountability, just all these things. Family, I want you to say hi to Geneva Renee. I'd like you to come up, check in. I want to see how you're doing, how your mom and them. We want to say what's up to you. So by all means, come through. If you're hanging on Clubhouse and you like to come up, by all means, come on up to the stage, throw up a wave. And if not, you're letting this take over the background experience of your day. Hey, I thank you for doing it so, so fully. So, oh my goodness. My friend Maria wants to come up. She got a second. Yeah. Let's say good morning to Maria Geneva. Maria. Hi, Maria. Good morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First of all, Geneva, your voice is divine and magical. Oh, thank you so much, Maria. I appreciate that. And I just want to say that the messages in your music and just who you Mm. are and who you're showing up to be is what this world really needs, Mm. especially right now. And for you to be elevating women, like, oh my God, I'm in love with you already. Right, (laughs) right. I'm so glad. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because, you know, again, I was in that cycle of doubt for a long time about whether I should put this stuff out Um, because it's so personal. But, you know, it is also my intention to empower women and just anyone hopefully can find something to relate to in the music. So I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Oh, yeah, through, you know, when, when we share our personal experiences, that's when others can see that they're not alone. So thank you for letting others see that they're not alone. There's nothing more powerful and more loving than that. Right. Yeah. There's strength in numbers, strength in community and sharing and just being able to just sometimes you just got to talk about it or or whatever outlet you can use. You know, for me, it's singing. (laughs) Yes. So that's awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So powerful. So amazing. And I'm going to repeat Aaron's quote because it's just so effing amazing. (laughs) (laughs) And he said, not giving a fuck about others, about others' criticisms is true liberation. Especially when you can take positive criticism that there's nothing more powerful than having others pour into us and and the key there is is like you said Aaron is when people have our backs when people are, are there to elevate us the same way that we're there to elevate them and and that's how we elevate each other and we grow and we expand mm, and i think yes. it is such a blessing to have humans in our lives that call our shit out and yes. don't play small yes and, and, and they just, you know, they, they, they listen to our commitments in life and right. then they hold us accountable for what we say we want yes. and what we're committed to in life. Yes. So that's, that's just so, so powerful. I love being here with you. I love your messages. <laughs> I've missed you, my friend. Oh and my I can't hang around here too much longer. I'm in the middle of work. <laughs> I hear but you. I just cause... wanted to drop by and I came in such a beautiful day because i got to hear this angelic voice geneva keep shining your lights you're just extraordinary thank you same to you my love (laughs) my beautiful wonder yes Yes, Maria. I don't know if you, I don't know if you were in here when I was telling Geneva that, but I was like, it's when I get her e blast. It's my one of my favorite things 
that she calls us all beautiful wonders and it makes us all feel affirmed and refreshed and invigorated so this is so amazing and maria oh my gosh you know i'm so happy to hear your voice i'm happy to see you hear you talk to you the whole nine. Oh my goodness <sighs> for those that don't know when i started this experience there were so many people that i built relationships with and the way the depth that it goes because of the power of this app you know it's amazing so people like maria and Etta fly and lt and eric harrison auntie gina and oh gosh so maria oh so it's so good to hear you so good to see you um and so good for you to come through and thank you like you just came up here and just affirmed my whole life echoing my words like that you know it just really affirms me you also affirm my latest uh <laughs> my latest uh post that i was telling everybody about earlier again if you haven't seen it please click on the first post on my instagram on my facebook tiktok wherever you are it's me in the car with a blue um a blue mask over my face those that's hanging out with me on facebook you see this mask it's the, it's the traditional it's the one that most of us probably has some crazy stories around so you'll see me with that mask and you see me ripping it off and breaking it and so you just affirmed something I said in it. I was talking about Clubhouse and the AP Morning Show and all of the beauty and the greatness that happens here. And I was like, there's some people uh, that I was like, yeah, don't don't think that you can't tune in just because you're at work. I was like, because there's some people who's at work while they're tuning in. In fact, it's the thing that's helping them through their day, you know. Uh, yeah <laughs> and so i heard you maria when you were talking i heard you clicking the mouse and everything i'm like she doing that thing that's what i'm talking about don't let nothing keep you from getting that goodness that inspiration we love you maria and it's always good to see you and you always bring such good energy into the space mm -mm -mm. yes yes keep taking over your day yes indeed <laughs> sax man stephanie h tony david candace eunice uh geneva i don't know how long you have but by all means um we are here i'm hanging out here to 11 we're hanging out here to 11 gonna continue to chop it up if there's anyone who else who else who would like to come meet geneva before time gets away by all means throw up a wave come this way say hey and and please click that link above your head geneva renee.com an amazing vocalist an amazing person a beautiful wonder herself <laughs> Well, let me shout out a uh, beautiful wonder, Stephanie Williams. She probably doesn't mm. want to talk, but um, she's been very, very supportive of me over the past few years. Yeah. Um, uh, I met her uh, through an online radio show she was hosting. Wow. Um, and then now she has a woman's empowerment group mm. um, on Facebook. Uh, and I've gotten to perform for the group before and, yeah. and just enjoy that community. Again, like Maria was saying, um, you're not alone. Um, and right. even though, you know, not everyone has the same exact experiences, but I, I know that there is something that we can all find some sort of relatable yeah. string that can connect us all. Yes. And um, so I appreciate Stephanie for, for, for coming through. Wow, that's so powerful. Where where do you? And here comes Stephanie. Here she comes to save the day. Because I was just about to ask some questions. Hey, Stephanie. Hey. Hello, hello. This is such a blessing, and I'm so supportive. Wow. Let me turn this down a little. I'm always so supportive of Geneva. I know right. her a lot about her history and and like maria said that voice is right. just so special mm. and stands out and i will always be a supporter of her wow yes thank you thank you that is so special my next question was just about to be where did you all meet where where do you know each other from and if you said it i apologize because i might have been distracted <laughs> she did she love. mentioned it um One i more had game. a radio blog show right and i was actually found out about her through aaron meyer aaron myers he was here earlier yes <laughs> yes we lived in uh, maryland for a while and i visited his church and we kind of touched base a little bit i'm right. a singer and a musician not a musician but a singer as well right 
And uh, I came across her name through Aaron. So, like I say, it was just such a blessing. Uh, I knew about her, her her background with her mom right, and right. and things like that. And she's just she rose above everything. Wow. And she just keeps going. She's such a inspiration and a strong role model for women. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Don't put all that pressure on me. Hey, that's no pressure. <laughs> that's called mirroring hey, who you are. Give me my flowers, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's right. Yes. Oh, that's so powerful. That is wonderful. And Stephanie, it is such a pleasure to meet you. And I want to say welcome to the clubhouse. I see you and Saxman and even my brother Tony. You got your party hat, which means you are new to this beautiful, beautiful, fun space. I'm always happy because since the time I came here, base man, what's up, brother? Hey, hey, since I've come here into this experience of Clubhouse, where I have been is standing in accountability with as many people as I can every day of the week. And what has happened is that many people that have come through, especially for their first time in Clubhouse, have been a long time, like people to hang out on a show and just meet new people. Um, so I just want to say welcome, you know, for me and the rest of the AP family, welcome to you. And it's so good to meet you, Stephanie. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Stephanie. Mm-mm-mm. That was so cool. Everybody, let's say, uh, let's say, oh, Geneva, let me check in real quick. So, because mm-hmm. uh, I want to make sure I check in. So, yeah, we're continuing to hang. I don't know if you got to run, um, but if you do. I um, do about 10 30. I mean, because I, sweet. like Maria, I got work too. I got work to do. <laughs> I got work, baby. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could probably, you know, listen in. Yeah, yeah. Um, continue yeah. I, 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 yeah no doubt hey <laughs> look well for the next eight minutes we have the we have this beautiful wonder you're here with us so by all means let's say good morning to sax man sax man good morning family good morning sup frat <laughs> morning morning brother enjoy your music man wow i appreciate it brother and it is nice to meet you yes sir yes sir that should be a good combination you and geneva renee yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know? I'm do you know young. Geneva too? Uh, we met at uh, the Reginald F. Lewis Museum. I think it was 2019 when she did a gig there. Okay, nice. So yeah, I picked up her CD. You know, I'm familiar with her work. Yeah. So are you? Man, are you? Thank I'm you sorry. For go the ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm familiar with her work. Great work. H U. You know. <laughs> License in the house. Mm. <laughs> and you know I'm gonna leave that alone, though. <laughs> hey, you don't have to, bro. It's all good. Look, this is a celebration. If it wasn't for that, y'all wouldn't have met, and this wouldn't have been a beautiful collaboration. So I get it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna be hollering at you, though, brother, because you know I've seen you with your group a couple times. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be high on that. Y'all like what you do, bro. Now, if you now, you know, if you don't, it's okay. But you mind sharing with me your name? Cause I'm trying to see if maybe I know you. Maybe I, if I if I know you already. No, you don't really know. I me. don't know we you, met, right? We met on a couple games, but you wouldn't know who I am. Right, right. But, uh, I got it. Yeah, got it. yeah. But uh, I dig your work, man. I love, man. I appreciate you. I really, really appreciate you. Um, are you actually in this area? Like, are you? Are you in the DMV? Yeah, it must be in Baltimore. Baltimore, cause, uh, yeah, because you just Reginald mentioned. Reginald Lewis Museum is in Baltimore. Right. Yeah, I'm in the Baltimore area. I did that. Yeah, I did that up. concert in 2016, actually. Ah, so you got, you got the numbers. It was that long ago. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. It's been long. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, we've done this. We did a pro- the collaboration ten years ago. So yeah, time flies, man. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> that yeah, is. That's super cool. Well, look, brother, Baltimorean to Baltimorean. I don't know if you see me out and everybody here. If you want to know one thing about me that makes me me, this would be the most recent that during the pandemic, I've done 150 outdoor street serenade concerts. I call them street serenades where I just take my piano outside to nature. And my goal is to just help us through these times. So I've been all around the DMV. So a lot of people have seen me that way. They're like, man, I've seen you. I know I see him. Like, wait a minute, you were on that street corner. You were yeah, that's where we that's where we are. So well, for everybody. <laughs> What'd you say, bro? You were busking. 
yes sir and look the thing that's been so cool about it is that my personality is exactly cut out for it i would have never thought about being a street musician I had nothing against it it's just i had another path but i i am so this is one of those like through the pandemic through the adversity success like stories where you know the adversity opened me up to a new level of creativity and finding myself in a new way so yeah bro i've been out here on that busking life man having fun 150 right. since you were busking <laughs> during the pandemic yeah you hardcore brother right. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate yeah, but look, you. I'm gonna jump off of here. But uh, no Geneva, doubt, I love uh, your work. You and uh, Brother you. Aaron, that should be a good team. You can check me out at e flat music and media dot com. No e doubt, flat music and media dot com. Yeah, Geneva, I gave you a card back there at the Reginald F. Lewis Museum. That was a while ago. Five years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. This very no, <laughs> <person. laughs> hey, You did. <laughs> Yo, base man, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Yeah. I'm... Yo, said I pulled up on you ten years ago. Pulled up on you. you dead in your eyes. I love you, daddy. Your pupils. You still got my car. In your pupils. Yes. <laughs> I ain't mad at First you, bro. Of all, can we say we got an alpha and omega and a delta all up on the clubhouse right now? All right, all there right. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Hey, Geneva. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Yeah. You hear your voice love. It's, it's been like five years since I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> since I looked at, since I looked at you in your optic since nerves, you, since, yeah. your, <laughs> since your vocal cords made my ears thump, <laughs> a mess. <laughs> it's so great to hear your voice. You man, thank you, you man, with you, the golden you. voice for real. It's glad to, I'm. I'm glad to be heard. Glad to be amongst the living, and uh, always good to be in the, the presence of AP, the brother that uh, connects the dots for so many out there. Thanks, yeah. bro. Hey, well, you know the feeling is mutual. The feeling is mutual, fam. It's good to see you, bro. For those that don't know, my brother, my brother, my brother, as they say, from another mother, Marcellus, mm. the man with the voice, bass man. Yo, bro, how are you? Every day above ground is a good day for me, so no that. complaints at all. Just uh, started getting my day going. Just had an audition that I just finished. I'm sending that off as we speak. Oh, dope. And then gearing up for the rest of the day, I have a couple of uh, interviews coming up for one for IG for somebody else's show, but then mm. one for one with a musician for one of my own shows so oh. yes it's a busy day busy bro can day. i just say to me you are the you are the hardest working man in you voice really business are. bro that's what i'm trying to tell you Thank right you, now hey man i'm trying to get it man yeah. it's so cool and for that's those that good. yeah and the other thing i want to share for those that don't know is my brother here is a part of the lullaby club and then it's on Thursdays, right? Where you host your room. It's every Thursday, right? Yeah, every Thursday night. Yeah. Trifecta Thursdays. Yeah. Trifecta Thursdays. Every Thursday night. Was it 8 p.m.? Was it 8 p.m.? No, no, uh, midnight. No, I'm mid sorry. Midnight I'm Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Um, got the opportunity, was it two weeks ago, I believe, mm -hmm. um, to be a part of the man with the voice, Lullaby Club, the room, myself, Coco Lorraine Villa, Vera, Micah Smith, it was a great, great time. If you all have yes. not heard this experience, if you have not experienced this experience, well, you need to get there. And you definitely need to get there on Thursdays, midnight, 9 Central. Yes, like, sir. it's great. You know, he reads a, uh, well, I'll let him tell it. You tell what you do. I don't, you know, you, you the man no, with the voice. So you the man with the damn voice. Like, what am I doing? Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it, it is uh, it's a complete auditory experience as we combine spoken word uh, vocals as well as instrumentation uh, to just be this great algorithm of a, of, of um, just a great experience you, right. know, you, you have to be there to, to fully understand it but yep. Geneva Renee I have to get you in there yeah yeah well. oh, yes. yeah yeah okay. i don't know if you coffee, would be willing to fall 
<laughs> I was about to say, I don't know if you, you would mind staying up late with a brother, but I make it worth your while. There you All go. right. And there it is. And there you have it. And there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is exciting. And again, this takes me back to why this experience of accountability partners has been so fun for me. Because every day since I've been here, since December 3rd, 2020, sometimes for five hour damn marathons, people, these kind of things happen. Special moments of serendipity and intention where amazing people unite. And so I'm glad to I'm glad to have been in the midst for another one because that's gonna be fire. Geneva Renee yeah. on a trifecta Thursday. Yeah. What? Let's Happy get it. Happy anniversary though, AP. Yeah. Year old, December third, twenty twenty. That's awesome. December third. Wow. Two more days. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. So <laughs> Friday is gonna be really, really, really special. Um, one of the things, and this is another one. This is another one. It's ninety nine point nine percent certain that Gary Ellerby will be in the building Friday. We will be chopping it up here on the morning show. And I'm excited about that because, see, the man with the voice, Geneva Renee, Gary Ellaby, these are people who are in the vocal artistry, creativity, and the utility of life. And so I all I admire them all for uniquely different reasons. Gary Ellaby has been a voice in radio and a voice in jazz, you know, for some time. Good friend of mine. And I'm looking forward to hanging out and chopping it up with him on friday so if you're around between 9 and 11 you should hang the hell out because it's gonna be fun and i've been waiting to get gary on here because i am convinced that clubhouse is the greatest social connecting resource on the planet period and so i want everybody to be able to have that gift and my brother baseman i remember when he first came in i was like yo you gotta get in here and he showed up in my room one day and i'm like yes that was the only thing needed because i knew the rest would take care of itself so let's get it family Mm -hmm. you know fun fact about gary gary was the first midday or uh, daytime show that i ever filled in for wow yeah oh wow yeah and then years later, I took over that slot. But yeah, so we, we go back quite a while as well. So yeah. I'm definitely going to try to tap in for that conversation, brother. That's dope. That's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So yeah, bass. Well, oh. I know. yeah, yeah. Kier That's Johnson. Awesome. I oh just saw Kier. I know, right? <laughs> KJ. What's up, KJ? Oh, man. I hope you're well, brother. This is another brother from another mother. One of my best friends on the entire planet when i tell y'all when i think about my journey when i think about people that i owe so much credit to for how they have not only poured into me but stand and supported me been my backbone been been my ace been my side my like the whole nine care johnson if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be where i was today because he gave me the opportunity to be in his band and to develop my skills to branch out and be an improvising jazz musician and more Shout out to my homie, Purple Honey Music. If you've never heard it, look it up and instantaneously. Purple Honey. Look it up online. Purple Honey Concert Series. You're going to see some of the best in Baltimore, the cream of the crop. When it comes to indie soul, jazz, spoken word, comedy, a halftime party. Like, you just got to see it. Look up Purple Honey Concert Series. Purple Honey Music. Yeah, yeah. Bass man, yo, it's good to talk to you, man. I don't want to hold you up if you got a roll. If you don't, by all means, you know you can hang around. We about to continue to have some good convo. I'm so glad you got a chance to pop up here. Say what's up to Geneva as we keep affirming her. Her new CD, you know she got a new project out? No, because she did not send yeah. it to me. No. Oh, shit. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, I don't have it, so... <laughs> No, you didn't know? Okay, okay. Yes. Well, you know, a lot of people don't look at social media at all. (laughs) And, you know, honestly, I appreciate the people who are doing their own thing, working their own life. You got shows and you're doing your own thing on your... You got time. Your nose is down in the ground. Not looking up at what other people are doing. So, go ahead. I follow you. I'm a fan of yours. Yep. And uh, so, there. 
Now you know. <laughs> right, I'm about to say, like now I said I earlier. Know, so now right. I need you to send it to me so that I can have it. There it is. So that I could potentially play it on the airways. You know I'm syndicated on 30 stations across the country, darling. Let's make it do what it do. I need your email. I got your uh, IG. Hey, hey. So just... We'll get a DM. DM. Let's get DM. it. Yeah, let's slide in the roll in the DM. Slide in I'm the DM. I'm gonna slide. Better yet, I'm not gonna slide in your DM. I'm gonna hit you in Still your back channel. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, it's ah, yeah. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's wrong. And so right at the same time. Hey, look. Uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the greatest. And let me tell you all. For those that don't know, especially those that just popped in, Michelle, Dr. Stormy, what's happening, fam? Hey, beautiful people, beautiful wonders. If you didn't hear it, you're hearing the beautiful voice of Geneva Renee right now. But if y'all didn't hear it, she performed here a few minutes ago. So hit that replay, y'all, when we finish at that 11 o'clock hour for real. And hear that joint. It's my track in the background. Sax man, you you wanted the connection, bro, and it happened. And it already happened. So you get a chance to check it out. Hit that replay, y'all. It's been a great show so far. And as always, it continues on to go as far as it can go. Yeah. What's up, family? Mm mm mm. Good times. <laughs> it was it was love. It's all love. All love. Well, Geneva, it is it is tenth. See, that's yeah, what I love I about go. this. I'm over here. I'm over here multitasking trying you know to it. type up some stuff on my computer and write some things on my post-it note and listen and pay attention and you chat. know it it's too much that, look it's <laughs> too much and this is this has been helping you to get through so then <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, let me be a good steward and, and uh, make sure I'm being accountable to my friend to help her be on time for whatever the hell she got to do. <laughs> I'm a mute out, um, but, you know, That's if so something good. really pops up, I'll jump back in, okay? No doubt. And I just want to say, and from everybody else here, and you all can express your own sentiments again, you can come up to the stage. I would love to hear your voice. But I just want to say, Geneva, today was amazing. And having you here just just was so amazing i thank you for your yeah. gift i thank you for your offering i thank you for you being you and continuing to say yes to you and to your dreams your birds deserve to fly definitely remember hey you might not be one person's cup of tea but always know you're someone else's full course meal make it do what it do i love that thank you so much love you. thank you so much yes 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 i'll be in touch down in the bell lullaby club good to see you what? Say that again. You talk so soft and <laughs> I always wonder how you sound when you discipline your kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I <laughs> love it. I love it. I <coughs> said that I will be in touch regarding oh. Lullaby Club. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> and the reason why my music cut off is because he just rattled and broke my damn speakers while he said that and i just fixed the shit and instantaneously repaired it <laughs> damn right right <laughs> i love it oh it's so good to have y'all family and it's so good to see y'all on this hump day quick reset i want to say to everybody again here thank you for being you thank you for making this your experience to get through the week one day at a time ap morning show standing together and accountability about everything under the sun if you'd like to come to the stage hey we're hanging out to 11 so i want to say hey to you it's my only goal to just support as many people as i can i also got some other thoughts for y'all too that i might jump back into some pondering some things for us to think on but i'm gonna pause for a second hey in the background here this is apple tree remix it's a tune that i put together and guess what you're about to have it in a few seconds <laughs> i'm gonna do something that's gonna be funny that you all probably never seen anybody do watch this i'm gonna put a link above your head in a few seconds and you'll have a link to this track Here's the cool part about it. This track isn't even out yet. So, for a limited time only of the rest of this room, if you click at the top of your screen in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and now click. If you look at the top of your screen, you're gonna see a Dropbox link. And guess what that says? Apple Tree Remix. The world has not heard it yet, but you have. This is actually my remix of the great song by the late, the great.
great the greatest one of the latest artists in this whole soul thing to just like take us to another level 97 was the year where i first heard erica badu and when i first heard her say if you don't want to be down with me then you don't want to pick from my apple tree i was like what and if you don't want to be down with me you dumb dumb diddy i'm like oh she's clever she's clever as hell so this is the apple tree remix not only will you hear this in the mix of what I have coming up, if y'all didn't know, I'm building a mindfulness and meditation app to help you with your stress. And I put out guided meditations on a daily basis. I'm gonna show y'all that information real soon. But you will have this and you'll have other music to just calm you, calm your nerves, vibe out to. And I'm gonna do a cover with somebody with this too. I think I got I actually got somebody in mind. I got somebody in mind. So yeah, click that download this and just play it to relieve your stress i'll be right back Let the incredible pedal to metal groove settle in your vessel smooth. My brother Kid Johnson, being here a few minutes ago made me think about this verse that I wrote that was on the last song, really the last song that I did with him. It was called Let's Get It and Go. Let's get it, let's get it and go. We on the move, y'all. Uh, let's get it and go. Let's get it, let's get it and go. We on the move, y'all. Let's get it and go. Let's get it. Let's get it and go. We on the move, y'all. Go. Let's get it. Let's get it and go. We on the move, y'all. Here was my verse. I think it was like 2001. Just let the incredible pedal to metal groove settle in your vessel smooth. Effervescent medicine for veterans groove. The higher the level, the bass and treble, the better the groove. The flyer the soul, lace with rhythm, the better the move too. And the groove's just destined to be. And you can question James Brown about the one and three. Here's a lesson the downbeat rocks definitely. And the third is just as live to provide the swing. Your head bobs cause it's not a thing. The mind's time and life's infinite vibe is designed to sync. The groove got your eyes knowing when it's time to blink. The mind flowing when it's time to think. So what's groove? Groove is ooh. Groove is uh, groove is man, groove is I don't know the lyrics, but um, that's my jam. Here it the grooves, the spirit of music. I am that I am. Uh, Therefore I am, my man, you got to groove, what have you got to lose, get it and go, stop dropping groove, music's the key that unlocks the groove, stop the groove, impossible, the groove's locked to you, already got you, not feeling it, not the truth, cause even mom and pops boogie to the rocking groove, it's the groove man, come on, lose the shoes, run on, the music's the soothing lubricant, you can slide on it. Let's get it and go. Let's get it. Let's get it and go. Go. We on the move, y'all. Uh, let's get it and go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it and go. Let's get it. Get it and go. We on the move, y'all. AP family. Let's get it and go. Let's get it. Let's get it and go. We on the move, y'all. We, we, we on the move, y'all. Let's get it and go. That's what we're doing, family. Getting it. Making it do what it do. Hey, my brother Paz in the building. What's up, Paz? What's up, Melanated Word Nerd? Look, you got the coolest name ever, I promise you. Especially because when I was in the 10th grade was the first time I heard the term melanin. 10th grade, I was 15. I had a rogue social studies teacher that decided to come into this classroom and the second day she was like, you know what? We're gonna learn about Columbus and all of that bullshit in two days. And then I'm gonna teach you your real history about Africa and Egypt and Egyptology and Kemet and chakras and auras and your personal power, and natural hair care and natural skin care. It was literally, <laughs> the most revolutionary class I had in my entire life. The only other one that compared to it was the one I told y'all about in the very last morning show experience. If you didn't get a chance to hear it, don't worry. Go to my bio and just hit replay. Did y'all know you could do that? You can go to right to my bio, scroll down to the bottom and hit replay and play the experiences that you missed. Mm, you might not have known that. But if you hit the last 
AP Morning Show experience, you will hear my music teacher on air with us, Fernando Allen. And you will hear the story of how Fernando Allen changed my entire life by, by deciding to do something that was unconventional in the school system. Hmm. He allowed me to come into class and practice production for an entire quarter. He allowed me to sew into my vision and my dream. And it's the thing that allowed me to go full time at 21 as a musician. And I've been full time ever since. 39 going on 40 now. We coming up on 19, 20 years. Let's get it. And go. Let's get it. Let's get it and go. We on a move, y'all. Let's get it and go. Let's get it. Let's get it and go. So thank you, Melanated Word, for even just having that name to give me that thought. And for everybody else that's here, family, by all means, if you'd like to come to the stage, throw up a wave. We got 15 more minutes to hang out in this beautiful, beautiful space. And to all my people that's hanging out over on the Book of Face, a.k.a. Facebook. What up, though? In my best to date Detroit you know, action. I, I got a little bit of lessons from the family here on Clubhouse. That was one of the things that was so fun. When I first came here, there were so many people. Like, it was like the Detroit experience. You had Kim Briscoe. You had Lakeisha. You had Felicia. You had Etta Fly. <laughs> Every all these people like, what up, though? I'm like, wow, this is so cool. So what up, family? If you'd like to come to the stage, by all means, throw up a wave. And if not, you're letting this be the wave, the background frequency to your morning experience then by all means i thank you for doing that too most of all thank you for being you and thank you for coming through so if you don't want to be down with me then you don't want to pick from my apple tree hey if you don't want to be down with me And if you don't want to be down with me, you don't want to pick from my apple tree. And if you don't want to be down with me, you just don't want to be down. Oh, <clears throat> Yo, she rocked it with that. So I can't wait to unveil this to the world because I think this is going to be a classic cover of Apple Tree by yours truly. What up to my Facebook family? I hope all is well. The whole things are going well for you. Geneva says, thank you so much. Eunice says, that voice, woo. Right. You got a double dose today. <laughs> Norman Wilson says, hey, peace. Mario, what up, bro? What's happening, family? Cool. So I got a couple more thoughts for you. This is a couple more of my personal ponderings. Things for you to think about. If I mention something that makes you think about something where you want to share... If I resonate with you in a certain way, if something that I say you can relate to, by all means, throw up a wave. And if you're on the stage, by all means, you can just chime right on in. I got to tell you something. And I figured this out on September 3rd, 2020, all over again. Some people just want to be mad. I'm just saying some people just want to be mad. You no, that's not you, unless it is. But you, you want to be happy. You ain't got no time for no drama, no mess, and all that kind of bullshit. But some people just want to be mad. So here's something for you to think about. After you have apologized multiple times or done everything in your power to truly make it right or mend the situation, and a person still chooses not to let go and let it go, it's time to look like these emojis. Now, if you're not with them, if you're not with me on Facebook, well, first of all, I'm gonna give you a chance to come on over there. Just look for me at Aaron Hill TV. Search on Facebook right now, Aaron Hill TV. Look for the red and black profile picture. That's me. Some people just like they want to be mad. So when somebody holds on to that and they're not trying to let it go, even after you've done everything you can, you gotta look like this. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I give up. And move on with your life because it may not be you they may be invested in keeping things messy and not allowing them to be mended they may actually be putting energy into keeping things unsettled or unresolved 
consciously and you can't be responsible for that and if you do then that's on you that's on you my good brother Delaware I said Detroit Ken's from Delaware (laughs) my good brother from Delaware that I met here on Clubhouse he said something early on he said disappointments are just failed expectations so after a while when you continue to expect something from someone that you have not been getting the entire time you're the horse that's not drinking the water you're the one that's not taking heed you're the one that's disappointing yourself it's no longer them think about that it's no longer them i'm gonna tell you something else about those people that i wrote So did you know that dogs don't bark at parked cars? Dogs do not bark at parked cars. So if you have people that are being unnecessarily negative to you, your ass must be cruising on an open highway fast. Keep driving forward. Ignore the life trolls. Have empathy for them, if anything. A person must be in a very sad place to have the precious time to devote to bringing others down. So keep moving. Don't feed the life trolls. You got to ignore them. You got to ignore them. Hmm. Here's another one for you. Growing gains. I put this up on Facebook the other day. Y'all know how we say growing pains? Well, these are growing gains. Right now, we are being invited to learn peace in the midst of uncertainty and ambiguity. Right now, in these times, this 2020, this COVID time, this unrest, right now it's tough. But in the future, we will fully realize the tremendous growth that came from these times. Being invited to live fully in and appreciate the present moment because it was all you had control over. That will give us greater capacity to savor and cherish every moment in life. Being invited to care about each other more because we realized that no matter what supposedly separated us before we were actually all on the same playing field. Those things that we thought separated us, those were things that really didn't. We're actually on the same playing field, trying to do the same things in life as human beings, being human. We're vulnerable. We're confident at times. We're afraid at other times. We're in need of connection and love and validation and affirmation and confirmation and on and on. being forced like I think that it's one of those things where I like to say being invited because it feels more gentle but to be honest we're being forced to learn these things because we're being pushed out of our comfort zone the life that we had prior to 2020 there's AC and BC there's before COVID and after COVID people and before COVID feels like a past life to me if not to you it definitely does to me But I believe it does to everybody because all of our patterns were rearranged. All of our brain patterns were changed. All of those neurological pathways, it's a clean slate. We're having to start all over in many ways and regrid. In some ways, that's a good thing because we've needed that in some areas of our life. In other ways, it is disastrous. It's traumatic. So I have so much empathy and that's why I'm doing this work because for me I realized that the most thing that any of us can do and yes I'm speaking to you I am speaking to you any of us that have a positive thing a positive word a positive affirmation or something positive that's happening in our life should share because it's the example that gives other people the ability to even dare to be happy so we're being invited 
first to be more mindful of our choices, our hygiene, our cleanliness, and the choices of others. We're being invited and forced at the same time to be patient because everyone's needs are equal. And because we each need to be extended the same patience in return, we each need it in return. Being invited and forced to our overall greater good. And one of the most impactful aspects of this time is that our desire to survive and thrive is forcing us to push past our current long-held fears. Albeit in lieu, though, of a greater fear. You know, I've had a, a an analogy in my head for years that really helped me to understand this about life. You all know how you're watching the action movie, the one with the superhero and the villain. By the way, the only difference between a superhero and a villain is mindset and use of power. Think about that. So remember those movies with the superhero and with the villain. And you have the superhero that even though you knew they were going to win in the end, your emotions still couldn't help going through the emotions. And remember the scene when you have the good guy running across the bridge or the good girl running across the bridge and the bridge is collapsing behind them. And the thing is, it may be terrifying what's in front of them. They may be running straight into like the the villain, like like catastrophe. But they're more afraid of what's behind them. They're more afraid of the fact that there's no bridge to go back to. Even if they wanted to get complacent, they couldn't stop. They had to keep running forward. So the fear that what was behind them that didn't work anymore or just the fact that it was gone. That fear was greater than what was in front of them. That's what happens sometimes in life, which pushes us to our greater good. It's the thing that allows the person to run to the edge of the building and to leap and to actually get their hands on the edge of the other building and pull themselves up when that damn leap was really way too big. If they weren't running for their life, they wouldn't have made that leap. Now, it is true that the same thing they feared before, that fear of falling and not making the leap, it is true that that can still happen. But it is now also true and in the realm of the possibilities to a greater degree that they can also succeed. So for many of us, that's what it, this has been. In the end, adversity and evolution, it's all about growth. And although it comes with growing pains in totality, I like to believe through the lens of optimism that it actually pans out to be growing gains. So I just want to tell you to hang in there. I just want you to know that you are not alone. So be gentle with yourself and keep pushing. Keep pushing. Family, that's my thoughts and my feelings for you. And so as we round out this accountability experience, one more again, I want to say to my friends, I am grateful to you. What's most important to me, though, to say to you right now is that I want you to check in with yourself and I want you to see if there's any place in your life, any personal goal that you have for your day, for your week, for your year, for your life that I personally can stand in accountability with you on and also that your accountability partner family can stand with you on. Sometimes just being able to share your goal is the thing that helps you to stick to it. Sometimes just sharing your goal is the thing that helps you to have the support that you needed, whether it's the, the support of someone just checking in, just seeing if you're all right, how you're coming along, or maybe it's a friend who actually winds up giving you some information to help you. You never know. Sometimes just putting it out there, though, helps. It helps on both sides. 
So if you would like to share a personal goal for your day, for your week, for your life that I can stand in accountability as your partner on, and so can the rest of your accountability family, by all means, the floor is yours as we start to bring this to a close in this way. And if you'd like to come to the stage, by all means, you can throw up a wave. And if you are on Facebook, then you can just drop your goal in the comment section and I'll read it. So what I would say in leading by example is that I would like you to hold me accountable to continuing to be myself, continue to understand that I might not be one person's cup of tea, but I'm another person's full course meal. That's not too hard for me. So let me go deeper than that. That's easy for me. Stay accountable. Help me to stay accountable to my schedule towards my schedule. One of the most fun things about my life is I have known the power of keeping a schedule and to be able to keep things organized so I can get the most fullness out of life. I've been doing good so far and I need your accountability to continue to stay on my P's and Q's. So that way I can always make the best use of my time and have all these goals that I have (laughs) the ability to actually be free and for my birds to fly because I'm being tight with my schedule and being organized and staying organized as far as where I spend my time. All right. So on that, whatever goal that you have personally, even if you didn't share, and matter of fact, I meant to say this too, forgot to add this in there because I forgot we got some new things here on Clubhouse. Also for anybody in the audience who would like to share, but you can't because you're busy right now, but you do have the ability to type, then you can go ahead and actually drop that goal in my back channel inbox. Just drop a quick line and I will read it real quick and just stand in accountability with you live right now. And so as I bring this to a close and while that's going on, I want to say thank you to you again. I appeared in an amazing audio drama last night. And if you didn't get a chance to check it out, just go right on over, hit my profile picture, scroll down, cigar bars and rear bottom scripts. You'll see the captured kiss, (laughs) a captured kiss. Was it love? Was it lust? Or was it lunacy? The great Coco Lorraine Vera. And I'm in this audio drama. Check it out. Last night was amazing. I had an argument with my girlfriend and I took some pictures that were really controversial and it wasn't my fault. It ain't my fault. Like mystical said, <laughs> it wasn't my fault. But at the same time, the way that it plays in, yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot of things going on. It's so amazing though. When you hear the story of Coco Lorraine Vera put through this production, as well as our stories, because we're playing our real selves in it. Cigar bar and red bottom scripts. Look at it in my profile at the bottom of my bio. Check it out. And don't forget that you can hit replay on this experience. And one more favor that I would ask you in order to share this experience with others. The one amazing thing is that Clubhouse has now given us tools. So if you look down at the bottom of the screen, right in between the hand raise and the plus button, you're going to see a little pair of scissors. If you touch that pair of scissors, it's going to take the last 30 seconds of what I've said or what's what happens in this experience and you can share that if you could if you could when you get a chance click that and share 30 seconds of this on your social media platform on Facebook just tell tell everybody hey I enjoyed this or check out this dude or this dude is wilding whatever that <laughs> take this shit off turn that thing down <laughs> but share it with someone And so with that, I think we are wrapping up here. I can't wait to see you on Friday because Friday 9 to 11, I'm going to be hanging out with the great Gary Ellaby, a radio voice and personality known here in Baltimore and abroad for years that brought us some amazing jazz and historic jazz times. And I've been waiting to introduce him to Clubhouse since I got on here. So I'm going to get my brother in here, show him the love that it's all about so that he can take what he was doing on the radio and take it now to a whole other level. I've 
believe this will really be enjoyable for him and I believe it'll fit him and his goals and his passion in the same way that it suits my own. Yep. And last but not least, I'm building a mindfulness and meditation app to help you with your stress. So what I would like you to do is in 10, 9, let me see if I can get it, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you look at the link that's at the top of your screen right now, 5M, Mindfulness and Meditation. A soulful, soothing self-care experience. I'm releasing daily meditations to help you through because I'm building a mindfulness and meditation app. The five M's are music, movement, meditation, mindfulness, and mantra. I need your help every step of the way by just grabbing the tools and just using them. Just playing the YouTube video. Just playing the guided meditation when you feel stress. Just playing it and using it to decompress. So click on that and save it. That's the YouTube channel uploading them every day in fact i'm about to upload the newest one and it has my music in it and has a meditation to just help you sleep or help you calm down or help you think about things in a different way this is my self-care contribution to humanity i appreciate that family and so on that tip one last call if there's anybody that wants to come just to say hi before we say bye then by all means you can do that I want you to have the best day today possible. Yes, yes, family. Let me check the back channels. I see Miss Emma coming up and I'm going to read Sherry's uh, what she would like us to stand in accountability with her on. All right. So Sherry says to remain focused on the top priorities on my to do list today. I stand in accountability with you. Stay focused on your top priorities and being able to know that what's important to you is important for your entire life, for you to see through what you want to see through. I stand with you. Let's say good morning to Miss Emma. Hey, Miss Emma, how are you today? So I just hit the invite to speak and there she is. Hey, Miss Emma. Good morning. How are you? I am doing pretty good. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. I'm rolling here at my uh, daughter's house, helping her get ready for Christmas. Nice. Yeah. That is beautiful. Getting ready for the holidays. Yes. Uh, Sorry, I couldn't get in any earlier. It's just been... One of those days. I only have a few seconds before I need to jump back in, but I just wanted to say hi and encourage you to keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Miss Emma. And thank you for taking a second to say hi, because for me, that's all I needed was just to hear your voice, to know you're doing well, and to hear you preparing for some good times with the family over the holidays. So thank you. And thank you. Yes, yes. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Miss Emma. Take care. Have a great day. And so everybody on that tip, hit the replay. If you missed any of this experience, well, I don't want you to miss Geneva Renee singing. And I don't want you to miss what happened earlier with Bass Man coming through. <laughs> so as soon as we finish this in the next 10 seconds, please hit that replay. Take it from the top. Clip and share with a friend on social media. Just tell somebody you enjoyed this. And look at my last experience. All right, everybody. On that tip, I love you. And I hope you have the most amazing day on purpose thank you for letting me stand in accountability with you and i will see you on friday at 9 a.m peace family be well